right, each of you get to screw. Let me grab those for you. Player one, tell me what's happening. Here we have the unbearable lightness of being Cape Moss. Play your cards right, you win 4,000 bucks. Let's see how you handle this one. What would happen to Cape Moss's weight if the Uber wafer on the planet Mercury? She would appear to weigh nothing. She'd appear to weigh even less. Her Take a shot. Because the gravity on Mercury is 0.38 that of Earth, Cape Moss would appear to weigh even less. And she still thinks she looks fat. Hmm, I wonder what player two is gonna pick. Twelve! Well, what do we have here? Going all the way on the first date. And get this one right, you got 4K coming your way. Hope you brought your suit. It's time to get wet. If Jacques Cousteau had wanted to get the farthest on a first date, which of the following should he have tried? Sliding down Niagara Falls, plumbing the Mariana Trench, Player two. The Mariana Trench is in the Pacific Ocean and is the deepest trench known in the world. Oh, Jacques, yes, that's the spot. Deeper, deeper. Player two, give me something. I finally conquered my Triskaidekaphobia. Thirteen! Say hello to your mailman's package. Four thousand big ones for a right answer here. Let's rock. If postal workers exhibited the same attributes as work... All yours, player one. Worker ants are sexually underdeveloped and usually sterile. Well, the good news is you wouldn't have to worry about the mailman dropping by with any special deliveries for the wife. Player one, your choice. What are we doing? Going up. 10, 11, 12, 14! Okay, give it up for... Anyone? Anyone? 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. You know that Comedy Central show, Win Ben Stein's Money, starring that tedious guy from Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Well, suppose they start a new show starring the original cranky old geezer, Ben Franklin. If you win Ben Frank... Player one. Ben Franklin's giant puffy face graces the $100 bill. And if you make him laugh, you get an extra hundred. Oh, wait, wrong show. Player one, anti up. Nice choice, player one. Kick player two out of the way, because this one's just for you. It's time to play Dis or Dat. And this Dis or Dat question's category is expensive hobbies that will kill your full self. Now, I'm going to read off seven points, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's an extreme sport or something you do with drugs. As each one comes up... Oh, oh, so you already know how to play. Okay, let's put 30 seconds on the clock, then. Let's go in. Free basing, sport or drug habit. Free climbing. Snowboarding. Bungee jumping. Puffing. Snow caps. Last one, sky surf. That's all she wrote. You missed one, but you hit on six. Nothing to feel bad about. Let's look at your new total. Nice shooting tax. Let's mosey on ahead. Player two, take your pick. The selection is Rhinestone Jedi. You get 4,000 clams for this one. Hey, have you ever heard that joke about how if you play a country song backwards, your dog comes back, you get out of jail, and you sober up? Well, suppose the film Star Wars were one long country song about Luke Skywalker. If you played the song backwards, what would Luke do? Throw a hand, thaw Han, go to Hoth, freeze Han, lose his Jedi skills, sell C-3PO, leave Endor, marry Leia, kill Jabba, or build a Death Star, jail Leia, gain an uncle. Player two. In the course of the movie Star Wars, Luke's uncle is killed. He helps to free Princess Leia and destroy the Death Star. 
And then Chewbacca joins the Oak Ridge Boys. Category time. Player two, it's your call. May I introduce Feeding Off of the Rich and Famous. And you pocket 2,000 bucks if you get this one. Heads up, here it comes. If Robin Leach really were a leech, what would be the... All yours, player one. Hey, not everybody can be right, just the winners. Balls the best way to get a leech off is by pouring salt on it. <laughs> hmm, let's see if that works. Hmm, nope, you're still there. You have the honors, player two. Put down that magazine, kid, until you're 18! Pucker up for the German judge gives you the finger. Get a right answer, you're walking away with four grand. Put it in gear, cause here we go. If the Olympics were to introduce a new sport called gouging to their program, what would you see athletes doing at the next Summer Olympics? Tearing it each Player one. Just like it sounds, gouging was a good old American frontier sport in which opponents would try to gouge each other's eyes out. You know what they say, practice, practice, blindness. Player one, give me category. The category? Come on, Irene. Hello, we're talking six grand, so pay attention. Uh, let's see if you can wrap your head around this. If singer Irene Cara suddenly turned into a Cara Cara, which of these lines from her hit song Fame would be most appropriate for her to sing? I'm gonna live. So what's the answer, player? A Kara Kara is a type of falcon, so the line about flying would be so very fitting. <laughs> then she'd fly away and we'd never hear from her again. Oh, wait. Player one, one good screw deserves another. Your turn, player two, what's it? Let's see what we got going. Hollywood is full of mathematicians, and it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Hey, you know, maybe with the success of Goodwill Hunting, Hollywood will start making a lot of movies about math. What would be a good name for a movie about two straight lines mad All yours, player one. Parallel lines can be extended indefinitely, and they will never touch. Let me be tain! Let me be put to death! Oh, dearest Liney, why does thy cursed math teacher say we shall never meet? 